Using a 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Remove the wheel and set it aside. Grab your wheel, remove it, set it aside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our under engine cover here. I'm gonna use our trim tool here to pop these buttons out. You wanna do this all the way around the perimeter. Now the two in the front center, we'll say these to last here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this splash guard down. Once you have your splash shield off, you want to go ahead and come to these two plastic buttons right here. You can use our trim tool and pop these buttons out. Get and repeat for the passenger side. On the inside of the bumper fender well, I'm going to go ahead and use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove this screw. Once this is out, repeat for the passenger side. Now go ahead and use your trim tool. We're gonna to remove our plastic buttons around the perimeter of our radiator cover here. Go ahead and remove all six of these buttons here. With all the buttons removed, we're gonna go ahead and pop this out. Remove it from our hood release and set this aside. We're going to remove the plastic buttons across the top of the header panel here or the bumper cover. Now on the driver's side, you want to go ahead and grab the bumper itself and you're going to pull it out in a way it's going to disconnect from the mounting block inside here. And it's separated, you're going to go ahead and do the same for the passenger side. You're going to go ahead and pull this out and you're going to disconnect it from the clips underneath the headlight. Go ahead and grab your bumper cover you can pull it away. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we want to go ahead and remove this bolt right here. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Use a pry tool, apply some downward pressure on this tab. Separate this. There's also one right here. Pull that out. There's two more on the driver's side. Remove your impact pad. On our bumper beam here, there's gonna be four 12 millimeter bolts holding each side on. One here, one at six o'clock, one at nine o'clock, and one at 12 o'clock. This one here is facing downward, so we're gonna use a gear wrench to get that one. 
Let's go ahead and loosen and remove these. Once we get that bolt out, let's go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. your bumper beam, gently lift it upward and then off. On each end of our bumper impact beam here, there is a hook and this is to help us hang this so we can go ahead and just pop it up in place and then go ahead and get our bolt started. Let's go ahead and get our bolts started. I put a little bit of anti-seize compound on our bolts here. We're just going to get them threaded in loosely. Once we got these started, let's go ahead and get the four bolts on the passenger side started. Let's go ahead and get our bolts lined up over here. Let's go ahead and tighten all these down. Make sure all four of these bolts are tight. And repeat for the driver's side. Does not matter on the tightening process on these here. Doesn't matter what bolt you start with.
I'm going to take our impact pad and insert our little locking tabs into the notches in the bumper. And we'll go ahead and install our bolts here, the driver side, and then we'll get the passenger side. Go ahead and tighten those down. Now, original bumper clip here that attaches to the lower portion of the fender was broken when we removed our bumper, so we simply replaced it with a new component here. Let's go ahead and raise up our bumper into position. I want to go ahead and hang the top of the bumper first. Kind of set that up there to hold us in place. I'm going to go ahead and work our way around the perimeter of the headlight. The bumper itself is going to clip in to the clips across the bottom of the light. Work our way around. And then the bumper itself will clip into the black mounting clip that we just installed there. Line this up, and that should snap into place. It's going to go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. Go ahead and install our radiator cover. This plastic trim here have to fit around our hood release. Move this down and this will fit underneath our bumper cover. And just work your way around. Once that's in place, let's go ahead and install all of our plastic push pins across the top. Now on the back lip of the bumper, we have to install our screw into that plastic mounting bracket. Once that's snug, let's go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. So now we're going to take our fender liner, go ahead and tuck this in behind. Let's 
going to install our plastic push pin here into our fender. Snap that into place. Let's go ahead and install the others around the perimeter of the fender liner. Let's go ahead and tuck our wheel well liner up underneath the bumper area here. Let's go ahead and get some plastic push pins installed. I'm going to install our lower splash shield and there are two holes right here in the subframe. I want to go ahead and line this up. I want to get those in place first. Slide our cover up underneath. And those two buttons there should hold us in place. Let's go ahead and install the rest of our trim buttons. We're going to install the buttons across the front lower portion of the bumper here. Let's go ahead and install this piece right here. There's a little tab that fits into our fender liner. Go ahead and put a button up on the top here. And right on the back side, this tucks underneath. There's a, another button that pops up underneath here. And press that into place. We'll go ahead and do the same for the driver's side. Install this little tab into the fender liner. On this side here, you're just gonna have one retainer. Go ahead and lock this in and push that into the body. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. Get our lug nuts all started by hand, and we'll go ahead and get this snug down. Take your wheel that lined up. Let's go ahead and get your lug nuts installed. I'm going to get all these started by hand and then we'll go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds.